Friday, March 1st, 6 a.m. Mountain Time, 2019. Guys, in this video, I want to share with you some interesting observations that most of these I've discovered down in Antarctica in the last couple of weeks. This is one of the unique surface features, and some other things are subsurface features that we can kind of speculate on what they may or may not be. This I'm just having a little fun with. It's something that's melted that uh, took shape of a human eye down in Antarctica, and I'll take you to the exact location on Google Earth here in just a minute. But I found other things that look like crafts, that look like ships, that look like flying machines, all kinds of different things that we're going to take a look at here in a minute. One thing I found down there that looks almost like a U-boat from many years ago. These U-boats are in the waters of planet Earth all over the globe. And you're looking at one here. In fact, I'll take you to an article right here where they just found a U-boat off the coast of Strenrayer. And this was sank almost 100 years ago during World War I. So World War I and World War II, these things were all over the globe. And I think from what we're seeing, or from what at least I've seen, they might be down in Antarctica as well. I know there were many trips made down to Antarctica. And I'm going to start with this slideshow, and then I've got another slideshow to share with you guys. This is that feature that looks like a human eye down in Antarctica. I have ran this through multiple different filters to kind of give a little bit of a different look. Just having a little fun with this. I don't know what this is. I mean, some of them that I'm going to show you look like submarines. Some of them look like ships. You can see uh, some features that definitely look uh, similar to some pictures I'm going to share with you guys. So this one here, just having a little fun with the eye of Antarctica. Now we're going to get into some things that look like possible crafts, possible ships, possible submarines that, you know, maybe collecting heat from the sunlight, causing a perfectly melting pattern above them that's the shape of their boat or submarine, whatever the case may be. It's not like a random melting uh, scenario. This is not random. It doesn't look random to me. This almost looks like it's got compartments and they're melting in straight lines. Some of these compartments look almost the same exact size. I call this one a subsurface craft. As you can see, part of it is melting and it's melting in a very unusual way. Just looks really unique. There's something there. Whatever it is, I'm not 100% sure. Just looks unusual, that's all. There's a lot of things down in Antarctica that are just very unusual. Many things we don't know about, but this here has some very straight uh, matching lines on both sides, you know? So, makes you wonder, what are we looking at here? Almost looks like it has some sort of intelligent design to it. This here you can see, I'll show you in another photograph, something tubular. I don't know if this was a submarine or not, but there's a round feature on top, and it looks like it slid down the ice or snow here, and it looks to be in the shape of a tube. I'm going to show you this on Google Earth and also in several different features. There's a different color here. I use different color format, and you can see the, the, the snow and ice has been disturbed around this thing, and right here in front of it, even over the top, you can see like it slid down in here. This is all fine. Look at the ice all around this thing. But on it and in front of it, the ice and snow have definitely been disturbed. So I don't know how old that thing is. If it's anything at all, I have to think it is something. With this feature on top, but I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. I call it a subsurface tube. That's what comes to mind to me when I look at that. Now here we're getting into what I was talking about earlier. This is in the shape of a U-boat or some sort of a, a smaller ship. This is about 310 feet long. U-boats were uh, various sizes and shapes. Some of them were 250 feet long, 300 feet long. This just happens to be 310 feet long. And if you look at the top of it, you can see what looks like almost a grayish kind of steel looking color. There's something round here and round here. You see a straight set of lines across the center that definitely doesn't look just completely like a random act of nature. That has a intelligently designed structure to it. 
kind of neat. Found this uh, about a week ago. Here's another good look at it here, and you can see the different color here in the center. That looks like a grayish type of steel color almost, and this looks like some sort of a walkway across the center, right in the middle of the ship or boat or submarine, whatever the case may be. But there's a lot of mysterious things down in Antarctica, and it does not surprise me in the least because I know there's been a lot of interest in Antarctica over the years, and one of the ways to get to Antarctica is by submarine, or was back in the day, or by boat. And you can see what I'm showing you here is this thing here that we just looked at previous to this that was embedded in the ice and snow. It looks like it slid in, had that same unique feature on top. It looks like a circle. This one also has one right here. I'm going to show you in the next photograph, and we'll take another look at it, and you can see that it, too, has a circle right there. See it? Right on. There's, actually, there's two. There's one on top, one over here. So I don't know what those are, if those were some sort of a lookout when they were above water, some sort of railing, don't know. Interesting, I'll take you to the exact location down in Antarctica here in just a minute. This next slideshow involves some pictures that were sent in by Elizabeth. She found this here. I don't know really how to describe this thing other than it looks like pillars, maybe a big vent that's sticking up out of the ice and snow. I'll take you to this location as well. Um, it's right in the middle of the ice. Nothing else in the area looks quite like it. So it's either a very unusual image artifact, processing artifact, or there is something there that's shaped like pillars, quite possibly a big vent. I didn't know how else to describe it. Now this here reminds me of a shadow on the ground because there's nothing here that's tall that would cast a long shadow on the ground. And I don't know if something was flying through the air when this image was taken by satellite. I will say that I have seen ships on Earth that are in that same similar shape. Not exactly, but if it's flying and the shadow and the lighting shadows are casting, uh, depending on the angle of the sun and whatnot, maybe it would look something you know like that. These are on Earth right now as I do this video. So I don't know if this was you know just a random rock that just happens to look like some sort of a flying machine it's really kind of neat I will take you to Antarctica where that's at and you'll see that there's nothing tall in this area that would cast a shadow that long so kind of a neat observation when I found that I definitely marked it because I've never seen anything like that down in Antarctica and I've researched Antarctica quite a bit myself I get a lot of people um, that find things on a weekly basis that send me pictures. In fact, the next one you're going to see was sent in by Elizabeth. And it looks like what appears to be a pyramid. It's near a base down in Antarctica. This base has been there for almost 40 years. But this pyramid-looking structure, it looks like they may have dug out around the structure. I think this was here first, if I'm interpreting this correctly. This base that you're going to see here to the right has been here for almost 40 years. I don't know if this structure was here first and they built the base near this structure or if they built it in conjunction with the, with the base. But the base is far away from this thing or at least around over here to the right. This looks like a pyramid and, and this style of construction is much harder to build than it is just a two-pitch roof, which you're gonna see many two-pitch roofs over here that they did build on different buildings. This is the only one of its kind in this area. And it does look, like Elizabeth said, looks like a pyramid. And we go back in time, clear back to 1981, and you can see this thing is sitting over here by itself. There was human activity over here around this thing, and then in the last few years, the human activity has moved completely away from this thing, and everything's over here. So, again, I don't know for sure that this is a pyramid, but it looks from the top, much like a pyramid, and all of the other structures, like I said at the base, are uh, two-pitch roofs, where this is four. And that's a much more difficult um, engineering task. A two-pitch roof is actually kind of easy. So in these conditions, I don't think you would design a you know, pyramid structure as it would be more uh, of a challenge to build. It wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to build it as quickly as you would a, a two-pitch roof. So I don't know. It's kind of interesting. It's, it's over here now all by itself. You can see there's no human activity near the pyramid. 
And that particular photograph, and I took still images from 1981 all the way up to 2017. So there's the base over there to the right. We'll look at it on Google Earth, and you'll see it's the only structure like it of its kind. It's wide open for interpretation. There's another look at it there. That was probably back in the 1990s, I think. Been there for a long time. And there was human activity right up next to it, and then they moved away from it. And everything's over here, and this is still sitting over here all by itself. And here's where we are. Right here, directly south of Malaysia, Indonesia, right in here. Queen Mary Coast, okay? These are the areas where I've located these, what look like ships, U-boats, submarines. And this one here looks like some sort of, quite possibly a ship, or a submarine, I don't know. But it's a definite, uh, unique melting pattern, whatever it is, nothing else around here is melted like this. It's the only thing of its kind like it in this area. To me, it kind of looks like a possible U-boat. There's one there that washed ashore. Here's one here that I just showed you that they found off the coast. And there's one right there. So is it a boat? Don't know. It sure looks like one. It's shaped like one. It's got some steel feature looking colors on the top. Some sort of a walkway maybe there. I don't know. But the steel could have collected heat causing the ice to melt in the shape of the structure. The coordinates for this here are 66 south, 100 east. You probably see it down there at the bottom. 66 south. 100 east and everything else is right in the same area this is still 66 south 100 east there's the eye just having a little fun with that but again you know it could be a boat that got sank years ago for whatever reasons um what else are we looking at here right there you've already seen those pictures but just having a little fun with that guys here's where i found this feature here on the surface but to me, it's mimicking something under the surface. I don't know. It looks like some sort of a craft. Look at that. Here's some different filters I ran it through to get a little different look at it. You can see these lines here are very crisp. They're very straight. Almost look like they were intelligently designed. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. You know, I'm always looking at everything from all angles. And here's another what looks like a craft of something. Here's a good look at it here in this filter. You can see something slid down into that ice and snow. Nothing else around here is disturbed like it is right there. And then it's got this circle on the top. It's a different format there. And I wanted to show you the exact location of this thing right here. See where it went down into the snow and ice? When I adjusted the coloring a little bit, you could see it much, much better. But there's definitely something there that doesn't fit in with its local community. Looks different. See? Totally different. So don't know. Could be a submarine. Could be a ship. Could be something else. Some sort of a random tube. I have no idea, guys. Here's the... It looks like some sort of a possible flying machine. It's not a shadow. There's nothing here that's casting a shadow on the ground. So what do we have? There's the two that I showed you that kind of looks similar to it, at least it's close. Not a perfect match by any means, but it's definitely close. About the same size. Here they are under different filters. And you can see here, quite possibly, some sort of aviation structure, whether it be propulsion systems or guide systems. I, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe it's a rock that's shaped like some sort of a strange aircraft. Don't know. But that I found that unique. And that one is at 67 South. 99 East. All of these are pretty close to each other in this same area. And I want to take you to the vent, which is right over here, I think. Yes. And you'll see the pillars, the vents, whatever you want to call these things. Maybe they're just digital artifacts. I don't know. But there they are, right there. Look like some big pillars you'd see over in ancient Greece. But nevertheless, that's on the continent of Antarctica. That was sent in by Elizabeth. That coordinate is 68 south, 88 east. If you want to come check that out. And now we'll head over here and take a look at the pyramid structure. It sits right in here, not too far from the Prince Albert Mountains. 
quite a few things in here to look at, to be honest. But I want to focus on the pyramid structure next to this very large research facility that's been here for nearly 40 years. And as I mentioned earlier, none of these structures are like a pyramid, two pitch. Some of them are even flat roof, like those. Nothing that resembles a pyramid whatsoever. This is a pretty good sized facility. Um, like I said, 40 years almost has been there, maybe longer. And here is the pyramid, pyramid looking structure. And there has been human activity, even buildings set up over here that have since been relocated. Now there's nothing left but this pyramid looking structure. So there was human activity over here and over the years they've since migrated away to where they're all over here now. So kind of interesting, wide open to interpretation. This is called Winter Quarters Bay and this is at the 77 South, 166 East. Alright guys, that's all I got for now. A lot of unique things down in Antarctica that I found interesting that I wanted to share with you guys. There's always something unique to find down in Antarctica. It's a fascinating place to go look around and see what the, the ice and the absence of ice is starting to reveal to mankind. There has been traffic going in and out of Antarctica, limited traffic. It's not like any of us can just go down there and take a look around. But there's been a steady flow of traffic in and out of Antarctica for over 120 years so or right at 120 years so there's something very special down there and i think we're starting to see some of these things slowly but surely thanks for watching guys have a super day and be safe out there